Hey YouTube, I'm excited to share this with you today. I just got this book in the mail. This is Coach, A Story of New York Cool. This is a book that you used to only be able to get if an essay gifted it to you, but the Coach Outlet ended up putting it up on the website, on the reserves, and as soon as I saw it, I saw some other people sharing about it. I did grab it because I'm not sure if this will be something that's available again. And then I also wanted to share some coach catalogs that I've collected, literally from eBay, like not actually collected throughout the years. I was not great about stuff like that when I was younger, but I figured I could show a little bit about this and then talk through some of the catalogs. I ended up finding something really cool in one of them the other day. All right, I'm going to start with this because I'm really excited that this just came in the mail. I have not looked through it in a lot of detail yet. So this is really going to be more of an introduction to help you decide if this is something you're interested in or if you're just really curious to see the inside like I know I was. Um, so to start, this is actually a hard cover, like a book slip that the book is actually inside of. I'll show you what the back looks like. And this side is fully closed. The bottom is fully closed. The top is fully closed. And then it's the side here where you take the actual book out. And this material is not um, a soft material. This is some kind of fabric. People who know more about books would probably know exactly what this is, but it feels like a, some type of fabric material. And the cover here is hardcover. It's a little bit flexible, but not too much. And feeling inside, it looks like that is paper that's lining the inside of it. So I'm gonna set this off to the side now. And the actual book also has the same material that the cover does, but this is a lot more flexible. You can see that there. And it looks like the same print and photos that are on the cover is also on the book. And obviously this will be a little bit different because they've added that. And it does look like the back also matches the cover. So I think what I'm going to do is just a really quick flip through this. I'm not going to stay on any pages for a certain amount of time. I'm just going to kind of do a general overview. So when you open it up, oh, it does look like there's more print here. And then as we go through, so what I've noticed so far, there's a lot of pages like this that are pictures. You can see they're showing celebrities. They're also showing a lot of vintage, like original coach designs. Um, there are text. I'm assuming this is like historical information about the brand. And my favorite part is going to be looking at a lot of these pictures and seeing the old bag designs, all the Bonnie Cashin stuff. I'm really excited for that. And it does look like there's a lot of celebrities in here. Oh, and I'm guessing, at least from what I can tell so far, it looks like it's going in order historically. I know I'm kind of flipping around, but... These are going to be some of my favorite parts to look at. You can see it looks like we're getting into more modern things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the further back we get... It's definitely getting more modern, and I'm going to be really curious to 
read the text on a lot of this information. Oh yeah, okay, so I can see this is dated 2016. And I think that's when this book was originally released. So that's a really quick intro to this book. Once I do read through it more thoroughly, if you guys want me to do a more like descriptive view of this in any way, let me know. And that's something I can definitely do. But I'm going to show you a little bit more about those catalogs now too. These are the coach catalogs that I've collected all from eBay, and all of them were under $10, pretty easy to obtain. And I believe all of these are from the early 2000s. So what I'm going to do, I'll go in order and just kind of flip through each one with you guys so we can look at them together. Okay, the first catalog we have here is from 2006. And the way I was able to find that is right down here. And the second catalog I'm going to show is also from 2006. I'm going to guess this is summer, and then this one is probably winter. So this is actually one of the ones that I saw something, I believe, that's pretty similar to a recent coach release. But we can kind of just look through the catalog first. And you can see down here would be the information on these items and how you can purchase them. I really like this design. I don't have a bag like this, but um, this fully leather one in the whiskey colored leather, if I could find that one day, I might, might end up purchasing that. Ooh, I really like that lemon bag. Oh, I think it's funny that these are still in here. It's basically how to purchase. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> um, an iPod. If you grew up in the early 2000s, you're very familiar. I don't think this is the catalog I was thinking of. It might be maybe the one from 2008. Hmm, I think that's suede. It looks like we're getting close to the end. And again, this is from 2006. I'm going to guess the summer. Okay, this is the next catalog. This is also from 2006. And you can see that right there. And I believe this was the winter of 2006, but I am not for sure on that. The Poppy Collection is in this one, which you'll see as we go through the beginning here. And there are some references to like gloves and coats, so I might be right. I might be like totally off base. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you can see the Poppy Collection. I don't own anything from that collection, but I've seen a lot of the Poppy Collection on the resale market. Again, that same kind of style bag that they were known for during this time.
a little bit more with watches and charms. And again, I think that that's probably suede. And I think both of these on the end are also suede. So that's interesting. The only bag I own that has suede on it is the courier bag that was a collab with Rodarte. So, and I think that was like 2016. Ballet flats, they're back in again. I still love these bucket hats. And actually this is, um, I've seen this bag compared to the Oh, is it Gucci Jackie? I think it's that bag. Again, some of the how-to tags. And is that another iPod? This is the whiskey color that I'm really interested in. I think it's some of their natural dyed ones from that period. Oh, that's interesting. They had like the iPad or iPod covers. Probably kind of similar to like the phone cases now. Oh, okay. I have never seen this bag before. This is called mm, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research into that. I might try to find that on the resale market. Ooh, I really like these two. Some ballet flats in action. Hmm. It's kind of almost making it look like a luggage there, which I guess you could use if you're not taking a lot with you. <laughs> A lot of turn locks. I swear we should count how many iPods are in here. All right, so it looks like we're, we're coming to the end of this one. And again, this is from 2006. We're going to guess winter. Okay. This catalog is from 2007. Looks like it's summer. Actually, there's some marks on here. I did not notice until just now. But you can see the reference to 2007 there. That's the back. Oh, I don't know if I should take that off. That's a person's name. Um, okay, so this may be the catalog that I was thinking of. There's a style in here that looks pretty similar to something that coach recently released so we'll see it's um later in the catalog though you can see a lot of ballet flats still i did learn recently your eyes are not blurry that picture is actually blurry <laughs> not to confuse anyone okay this looks like something on point with like the cash in bag but more of a tote Yeah, very summery. A lot of SLGs. I like that they were using more leather at this point and not so much the signature jacquard. That was something like during this period of time, I was not into coach solely for that reason. I had not really been exposed to vintage coach yet. To really understand like how great the leather was this was more of what I remember and that for some reason just like didn't really catch my attention
obviously they were still using a lot of the jacquard. They still do now, but definitely not as much at retail. Ooh, I kind of like those charms. Okay. So these, I'm not sure if this is like technically the Coach Originals, like if they were re-releasing, because these look like they're bleaker duffels. Yeah. Someone who knows a little bit more about the history might know if that was like part of the Coach Originals release. But okay, yeah, this is the one that I'm thinking of. We're coming up on one of the bags. This is very like boho style. Okay, so I saw this and I immediately thought of the Tabby Messenger bags that they're releasing right now. This reminds me of that so much. And obviously there's a lot of differences, like that's a buckle, not a C, they don't have that imprinted, and it's a detachable, um, a detachable strap. But the essence feels very similar. So that was interesting to me to see that. And I'm kind of interested in trying to look for that bag. I remember when I was looking at this page, there's like no information about the style number, but I think this may be like the legacy collection. So I'm gonna do a little bit more digging into that. If anyone knows in the comments and wants to share, that would be awesome. But a lot of these do kind of remind me of the legacy bags, at least from what I'm seeing. And this was 2007. Ooh. Okay, let's see what that is. Hmm. I'm having trouble like reading these while I have the camera up so I'll go back and look at that a little bit later yeah I am fairly confident this is the legacy and getting to the end of this one you can see <laughs> the 2000s fashion and all of this is like back in style, which I really like. I don't mind at all, but I know a lot of millennials are like really freaked out with that. Okay, this is the last catalog we're going to look at today. And this, I believe, was released in 2008. So there is like a few different things on here. It says 2008. But then it also says valid until June 30th, 2009. So I'm not quite sure what that means. And this is also a lot smaller. It's kind of closer in size to that one. And you can see a lot of things kind of started to change. We're releasing some new stuff but also a lot of the same same um, styles that you saw in the other catalogs. A lot of color. Okay, I find this really interesting. This is the fragrance ad and you would be able to open this and smell it. I don't really know if people buy catalogs anymore, but I like vividly remember that as a teenager, like getting catalogs and smelling the fragrances in them. Oh, I kind of like that. Getting to the end of this one. 
a lot of jewelry. And actually this is the end. It kind of opens up like that. And that is the 2008, 2009, something in there. <laughs> All right, YouTube, that's it for today. Let me know what you think. If you can correct me on anything that I got wrong, or if you have questions, I would love to hear what you guys think of these.